This river is the lifeblood of the valley. It runs right through the heart of the prime agricultural region in Ventura County. Farming has about a 150 year history here, and many of our growers today are fourth and fifth generation members of their farming families. My name is Sandy Hedrick, and I'm a farmer. A half of the farmland still in this area is owned by families who live on the farm and who are dependent on the production. The Santa Clara River is really special in Southern California because we're just, you know, an hour's drive away from millions and millions of people in the greater Los Angeles area. It's this really interesting mix of the natural land, the built environment of the cities, and the agricultural land that we have here. These rivers can come up pretty quick and they can do some serious damage if you're in the way. The climate change is already affecting us here in Ventura County. Scientists predict we could see bigger floods and more disruption of the water cycle there. Historically, people have focused on trying to channelize rivers to prevent flooding by building structures to convey the water out to the ocean as quickly as possible. And so one of the things that the Nature Conservancy is striving to do is use natural solutions to flood control. We're working with partners on the Santa Clara River to restore the natural floodplain so that when those big storms come, we can take some of that water and put it out on the ground and help protect the communities and the farm fields that are so important to the, the economy here of the county. If we're successful, this county will look pretty much the way it does now, you know, 20, 50 years down, down the road. Uh, if we give in to those pressures to build on everything, uh, it'll look like the rest of Southern California. It just doesn't look like this. If we can take the lessons that we've learned here about how to protect natural areas and how that can actually benefit people, we can apply those lessons around the world and help protect the natural riparian areas of the world and benefit people at the same time.